What's happening guys? Isaac here in the morning in Sydney and the sun's shining on me right now and it fucking feels great. But I want to talk about what is your worth? You see, I was having a conversation with another one of my friends the other day and he recently started working. See, this is the first job he's had. Um, he's been a student his whole life, so he hasn't really worked. And the job he's been working is a labor intensive job where he's moving some barrels around and shit and doing a lot of physical work for eight hours. It's very taxing. And he asked me, he said, I don't understand it, Isaac. Well, why is it that I'm not getting paid as much as someone in retail or some of these other guys are doing work that's harder? Clearly, the job I'm doing here is very difficult. People are coming in every day and quitting and getting replaced. I'm doing a lot of hard work here. Why am I not getting paid as much? And I had to correct him because this is a common misconception. You don't get paid based off how hard you work. If you got paid based off how hard you work, cleaners will get paid a lot. People that clean toilets, people that, you know, do a lot of physically intensive work, like concreting or plumbing and stuff like that, will get paid the most in our societies. But that is not the case. A better metric to judge how well someone's paid is how replaceable they are. See, if you're doing a job such as some labor-intensive job, bricking, or you're working at McDonald's and stuff like that, you're easily replaceable. They can get a monkey to do your job. If you don't want to turn up to work or if you're playing up, they can get someone else to do it. They'll teach someone in a few minutes and they can do the job. So those jobs, by nature, are going to pay you less. However, someone who is not as easily replaceable, someone who has a skill that the masses or most people don't have is worth more and they're not as easily replaceable. For example, an engineer who knows how to use some sophisticated program, whether it be a CAD program or some uh, mathematical program, is going to get paid more than the average person because they know something that the average person doesn't know. It took them years doing their course or engineering to be able to understand the intricacies of the program. So they're going to get paid more because it's going to be harder to replace them with another engineer. How many engineers are out there? And how many people are out there that can work as a cashier at McDonald's? Almost everybody can work as a cashier at McDonald's, but not everybody can be an engineer. Or how about CEOs. A CEO might make one or two decisions throughout the whole year and make millions of dollars and people complain about it. But those one or two decisions require the CEO know something that the average person doesn't know. The CEO needs to understand patterns, needs to understand the market, needs to be able to make decisions that are going to benefit the, mark, the company within the next few years, five, ten years. Decisions that the normal person does not have the education or the experience to make. So the CEO is not as easily replaceable. Or actors. Not everybody can act. A good actor gets paid a lot because of the skills they have. Try to get someone to do a movie that freaking, what's his name, did? Um, Leonardo DiCaprio. Try to get someone to try perform at the same level as him and see what happens. You won't be able to do it. Those skills are hard to attain. So you're paid based off how replaceable you are, what value you have to offer. So if you want to get more money in this world, you need to cultivate skills that a lot of people don't have. You need to make yourself valuable. How are you going to be valuable? How, what, what do you have to offer that the average person doesn't have to offer? These are the things you need to be thinking of. And think of that metric if you want to make more money. How valuable are you? How replaceable are you? So that's the video for today, guys. Go increase that fucking value. Go make a ton of cash, baby. And I know I will be. I know I will be. I'm a really good drawing. And uh, yeah. But if you guys liked that video, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all that shit. I'll be seeing you tomorrow in this video a day shit. Peace. Just do it!